Hi everyone who's following my journey. Just wanted to come in and give a quick update now that I finally have some strength. So since my first chemo treatment, I literally felt like I was hit by a bus. Um, I felt like the first day was fine. Although we were there for a full eight hours, the chemo lasted five hours. Day two, I felt pretty okay. Day three, I left with a new Lesta that went into my arm and that new Lesta sent bone pain through every bone and joint in my body. Um, I found out later on after calling the oncologist nurse that Claritin helps with that. So I started taking Claritin, which helped. Also, um, they leave you with medication for nausea, at least in my case, and the nausea medication causes other side effects like constipation and then constipation if you don't take the right things that could lead to diarrhea. And um, there were just a lot of things going on. Another thing that happened during those first few days after the first chemo treatment, I had a menstrual cycle and I was told that it could possibly be my last menstrual, menstrual cycle because one of the symptoms is menopause. I've already felt um, night sweats and sweating out of my clothes in the middle of the night when my husband is completely fine. So that was a little strange for me. So it was tough bal balancing everything that was happening in my body on top of the feeling of everything I tasted, tasted like metal, water tasted like metal, unless I used a special um, alkaline water with electrolytes that help with that. Um, I started using plastic utensils instead of um, regular forks and knives and spoons, and that helped a little bit too. I'm trying to think what else would help other people. But um, it just seemed like every single day there were new symptoms. Um, I had a lot of headaches, um, hiccups, weird hiccups that would come and go and make a loud noise and kind of tug at my heart. I felt a lot of times like my heart was racing. I felt very fatigued where I would be talking to my husband and I would doze off and feel like I was only asleep for five minutes and he said I would sleep for like an hour. So that was just kind of strange. Going down one flight of stairs just felt so winded. I actually was in my bedroom for nine days straight. And um, my birthday fell during that week and I thought that would get up, take a shower, get dressed, maybe get some fresh air, go for a drive. None of that happened. Could not get out of bed, could not hold down food. Although I didn't fully vomit, it's just that nauseating feeling. So I just had to take it easy and stay in bed. But um, I am so grateful for um, the love and support that I've been receiving from everyone. Uh, these are some of the birthday gifts that I received. I have not opened them yet. Um, I'm going to open them. I just wanted to do it maybe on a day when I did not have like a lot to do. But um, so many gifts, so many presents. So many flowers um the flowers just kept coming um which was so nice it's just so nice to know that everyone cares but most of all all of the people that have been praying for me all of the people that have been calling or texting or just sending me notes saying that they're praying they're praying they're praying i feel like the prayers are reaching heaven i feel like i am staying uplifted and positive I know that this battle is not mine, it's the Lord's, and I will live and not die and declare the works of the Lord and let people know that go through the, any type of cancer in the future that God can heal them because he healed me too. And someone sent me this angel um, the other day that says there is power in every prayer. And I really feel like there's power in every prayer. So um, one chemo treatment down five more to go over four months and i'm going to get through it um i know that god is going to bring me through it so everybody out there who knows the worth of prayer please pray my strength in the lord